Hey YouTube, I'm Lucky and it's time for the two minute TWAB. I'll try to keep the TWAB down to two minutes, but there's so much that's going on that it might actually overstand beyond two minutes. Uh, the first part is that they cover Immolent part one and Immolent part two. These are some lore entries. So if you're into lore, definitely go read these. And if you can understand them and digest them and explain them to me like you're explaining them to a five-year-old, please do so because I love to learn about lore. So definitely join my Discord, tag me on Twitter, let me know if you can explain the lore to me because I love learning about this stuff. On to the next part, there's actually a raid trailers release. I covered the reaction to this. We'll see how the raid race goes. So far, Beyond Light has had a variety of different bugs. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that the raid race goes off without a hitch or with a hitch. I don't, I'm not sure what the exact expression is, but you know what I mean. Hopefully the raid race goes off successfully. If you and your fire team can successfully beat the raid first in the entire world and get verified, uh, they will. the raid will be starting on Saturday and the verified winner will be announced on Monday as their plan. You'll get this raid belt delivered to you. Only six guardians in the entire world will be delivered this belt. And if you can't get it first, you can actually beat it in the first 24 hours and get this sexy emblem. And you already know, me and my team, we're definitely getting this emblem. I've gotten every single 24-hour emblem since the last wish. That was the only one I was unable to get. I almost got it beat, but I couldn't quite beat it. But I will definitely be getting this 24-hour emblem. The next piece they cover over is that the raid jacket that comes along with this is actually a parka and we've got a vest. This is definitely not my style. I do like Destiny memorabilia and I have bought raid jackets in the past. This is not the look for me though. I live out here in Florida. It's way too hot. There's no way I'm ever going to be able to wear a parka. But speaking of which, I did actually get a really precious piece of Destiny memorabilia. I got my raid ring in there. How does that look? Does that look nice? You like that raid ring? Yeah. Finally got in the mail. It took me a few months to get it, but I'm happy it's finally here and I'm definitely never taking off my raid ring. I love it so much. The next section in the TWAB is called securing the entrance. They're actually going to be doing a SMS verification. I covered this on Twitter, so make sure you're following me on Twitter if you want to stay up to date on the news. And I also covered this in a previous YouTube video, so make sure you're subscribed with notifications on. They're going to make people who have free-to-play accounts verify their phone numbers into their free-to-play accounts so that way they can't play high-end activities like Trials, Iron Banner, or Comp without doing so. So that way they can't get banned on an account, create another free to play account and come back into the game over and over and over again. Once you link your phone number to an account and it gets banned, you're not gonna be able to use that phone number again. And so this is an excellent step in Bungie taking more strict anti-cheat measures to get those cheaters out of Destiny 2. The next section is the Game to Give 2020 fundraising campaign. This is from the Bungie Foundation, and they're actually raising money for the Children's Miracle Network Hospital. So a great fundraiser, uh, good on Bungie for doing this uh, another year. And so if you want to be a part of this, you can actually sign up to host your own D2 uh, fundraising stream, and there's incentives and a variety of different things. You can also get this emblem. For don donating, you get these emblems. There's a variety of incentives that you can do if you host your stream and create those incentive goals. I'm excited to see the community come together and see how much money they can actually raise for the Children's Miracle Network hospitals. The next section is called Tuning the Darkness, where they actually cover Destiny 2 Hotfix 3003. If you didn't see the previous video on this channel, make sure to check that out. I cover all of this in full detail. There's nothing else new added from that section, so I can skip past that. And simply put, they're nerfing the Warlock subclass a little bit and Stasis just a little bit to adjust the values so that way it's not quite as OP and Crucible. The next section is called Let's Talk Loot, and this is a really, really important one. The loot within Destiny 2 Beyond Light feels so lackluster. There's nothing really to grind for. I need some god roll guns to chase after. I mean, there's some new guns, but they're not really the archetype that I like. And what's also really frustrating is, have you played any activities and you get a good gun to drop, but it's a sunset weapon? Like, what the hell? That's bullshit. You don't want to get a sunset weapon and you can't even use it. You get a god roll of a gun and you can't even use it because of the sunset. They're changing that. They have right here, remove all legendary weapons that hit their infusion cap at the end of this season. Add all of the 7 Seraph weapons from season 10. A. Hey, I can't wait for that. Add all of the season 11 seasonal and planetary reprisal weapons. Weight drop chances. So the newer an item is, the more likely it is to drop. So the world loot legendary weapons pool is about to get much, much better in Beyond Light. Onto the next section, they talk about bashing some bugs and they recover Hotfix 3003. And then they go on a list of saying known issues. And oh my gosh, look at this. Known issues, this is like a Christmas list. This is like Santa's Chris. Look at the known issues. What am I looking at? Oh my God. There's so many known issues. So much stuff is broken in Beyond Light, but Bungie is working on fixing it and they're staying quite on top of it, if I can be completely honest. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Are you enjoying Beyond Light? This is the two minute TWAB. Make sure to subscribe with notifications on. I'll be doing this every week. As soon as the TWAB comes out, I'll be covering it in as fast and efficient way as possible to bring you the news of Destiny 2 Beyond Light. I'll see you in the next video. Later.